You're listening to the Blue Jay Breakdown. Welcome into the Blue Jay Breakdown. Anna Bellinghausen and Drake Keeler alongside with you to break down everything Creighton women's basketball. Drake, the team's finally back in that win column after a disappointing loss to UConn at home. They beat DePaul 75-68. What were your biggest takeaways from that win? Yeah, it was a good bounce back for them, Matt, like you said. Um, it, they, they, they played well pretty much all game. Started off strong, just didn't give the lead up. Uh, DePaul made pushes just throughout um, at home. You know, they they, they played well, uh, but – you know, Creighton starters just really, really stepped up, really made the plays when they matter most. They all kind of filled the stat sheet up. Uh, I think all five stars scored double digits, you know, assists, blocks, steals, kind of from all of them. And that, that was really impressive. It was just a really good uh, bounce back game. Coach Jim Flannery didn't say they played per. He, he said he did, they didn't play perfect, which correct. But, you know, it was a good game, good showing from them for sure. Flan is a is a man that's hard to make happy. I feel like with those wins, even if everything's going right, uh, there's something that's always going wrong, as as that is with every coach. But I think the biggest thing was rebounding from the UConn loss because it felt like a game in, in a lot of people's eyes that Creighton could at least be competitive in, or maybe could have won. I mean, you think back to the previous season; they were within two points of a great UConn team, and this year. With Paige Beckers on the floor, I felt like Creighton had a chance. And I think the players thought that too going into it and, and felt a lot of confidence and until the game happened. And they just couldn't make a shot and, and, and UConn was down on it. I, I know we talked about uh, the UConn game in the last episode, but um, how important will it be to move on from a loss like that? And, and you still know you have another chance against the Huskies. Absolutely. And that was a big point of um, yesterday's press conference. I mean – I think a lot of people might, you know, look at that game and be like, oh, it's UConn, you know, they, they are the better team and, you know, they, it is kind of expected that they would win bid, but big, but, you know, over 40 points is kind of a different story. And Coach Flannery said, you know, if you're not humbled by that game, you're not a competitor. Um, and, you know, he said he was humbled. The players are, and they've had to kind of change their practice habits, be a little more urgent just overall. And that that's really been big for them. And they uh, brought that out against DePaul and that was a big win. And they're going to try to bring that into the next two games as well. Mm -hmm. I think another key point from that DePaul win, Morgan Molly having 15 points and it hasn't been quite the production she's liked, especially from the field goal percentage, just around 39%. That's not her, her typical clip there, but uh, she's been held under 10 points in the previous two matchups. So getting, for 15 points, I feel like that could catapult Morgan into into some better games down the road. Yeah, absolutely. And we know what she can do. I mean, she's done it this season. Um, I think, you know, one of those first games, she had a great game, like 30 points, you know, something mm -hmm. like that. Uh, but we know what she can do. And she talked a lot about how teams kind of defend her different now um, and are a lot more aggressive trying to stop her from getting clean looks. And she's looking to adjust to that, use her body more. She says she doesn't think she's done that. Um, as much as she could um, in, in adjusting to the defense. Um, but, you know, she's still a great player, made made some big shots. She always will. You know, you, you can trust her with the ball in her hands, of course. Uh, so, so I'm really interested to see just how she continues to progress over the season as she continues to face new challenges this deep into her career. Yeah, I think it's an important step for a lot of players to take when you're not a secret anymore. I think Lauren Jensen went through that a lot last season, and she talked to me about that before. So I think she would have some good pointers for Morgan Molly and how she's getting defended differently, seeing those double teams and at times maybe even triple teams down in the paint. So uh, it's definitely all about how you how you adjust to to that. But I think I think Morgan's physical enough and a competitor enough that she uh, she'll figure something out here. But I uh, want to look ahead as well. Butler tonight, 6 p.m., another Big East matchup, of course. Butler coming in 8-6 and six and 0-3 oh and three in Big East play. Drake, you you mentioned it before the show, but a low-paced team and a high three-point percentage. What will be important for Creighton? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's another team that can, you know, challenge Creighton on the right night for sure. Um, shoot, shoot the ball well. They've got some decent size. You know, they don't have like a – uh, Creighton's probably a little bigger uh, just overall, um, but, you know, they're going to switch a lot, uh, kind of just a lot of versatility in that lineup. Of course, a lot of players that can shoot, I think it's three players shooting over 40% from three. Uh, so you got to defend the three-point line. It's it's going to be an interesting game, a low possession, like uh, Coach Flannery pointed out. 
Um, and, and that's, yeah, you know, they've got to make shots. They've got to kind of, they want, they want, they want it to be another game where they are kind of playing from ahead rather than behind trying to make up that lead in a slow paced game. Yeah. And another similar opponent on Sunday with Providence, another low paced team with a, with a great defense. Do you feel like the Butler game will set them up pretty well for that Providence matchup? Yeah. Yeah. I think they've played some teams with like a lower pace this season for sure. And, you know, they've handled those games. Well, I think green Bay, actually, I think I was looking at it. They were probably the slowest team or one of the slowest teams that they have played. And obviously uh, green Bay won that one and really just did it, you know, playing great defense, playing great basketball and just maintaining a solid lead throughout that one. Um, And obviously you hope to be on the other side of that in these two straight home games, uh, looking to protect home floor. And I, you know, I think they're obviously capable of doing that. Absolutely. And in Creighton right now, it's, it's worth mentioning two and two in conference play. So this could be a really good chance to move up to four and two Drake. Yeah. You know, the big issue is a battle, especially in, you know, that kind of, obviously you've got UConn, uh, Marquette's been great to start out. Um, I mean, they've even taken two losses. So yeah, I mean, besides pretty much besides UConn, the big East, you know, there's a lot of teams riding down there and, you know, and they say it about pretty much any conference play, but you know, anyone could lose to anyone on a given night. Um, and that's, that's definitely true here. Uh, so you, you'd like to see Creighton and kind of take these two games at home for sure. Um, and it's going to be interesting to see how they, how they look to get it done. Yeah. Protecting the home court will be very important. Drake, thank you so much for joining me. This has been the Blue Jay Breakdown. Heard at Sports Network Production.